It's been five years since the third edition of How the Brain Learns, and enough information has come forth in, those, in that period of time that it seemed to make sense to do a fourth edition. Some of the things I concentrated on in this new edition were memory systems. We've had some new understandings about how our memory works. And of course, when you ask teachers how long do they want their students to remember what they've learned, everyone says forever. But we know it doesn't work that way. So understanding how working memory, the temporary memory, processes information, and understanding the kinds of criteria the brain uses to decide where to store information was pretty important new stuff. And I thought teachers ought to have that information at their command so they can plan their lessons accordingly. Another thing that's happened, of course, is the explosion of technology. Not just the new gadgets, but also social media and the impact that's had on students. One question I often get is, hasn't this technology shortened the attention span of kids? The answer to that is actually no. What the technology is doing is increasing the demand, the demand for their attention. But once they decide what they want to work on, boy, they can give all the attention they want to that. So what happens is that the technology starts to compete with teachers in the classroom. Are there ways around that? You bet there are. And I make some suggestions about that in this book. And another major piece I've added to it is the understanding of how the arts contribute to creativity, to enhance memory, and to develop those spatial skills. Too often, um, people in society look at arts as the frills. And when budgets get tight, too often it's the arts that get cut first. That doesn't make sense. The arts stimulate creativity, and besides, Think of this, the major problems facing our planet are not going to be solved by, by logical single answer problems. If they could, they would have been solved already. They're going to be solved by creative people, people who think outside the box. And we should be, we should be encouraging those kind of subjects, such as the arts, which enhance creativity. So those are the major things I've added to this uh, fourth edition, and I hope you're going to enjoy it.